If you have a busy life and no time to cook, but you like healthy recipes, one pot recipes, biryanis, kapsas, which don't include complicated and long winded cooking process, then follow along with this recipe and see how we make the most easiest instant pot chicken biryani. Along the way, we'll also show you how to use some of the useful function from instant pot, which will give you perfect results every time when you try to make this quick and easy chicken biryani recipe. So let me show you how it's done. So surprise, surprise, we'll be starting off with some chicken legs, so thighs and drumstick included. So we'll just process these uh, chicken legs and I, I'm keeping the skin on, but if you wish to take the skin off, you can take the skin off. So I'm just making it two pieces over here. By the way, I have previously washed and cleaned all the chicken legs uh, after defrosting them. And now we will just quickly uh, season the chicken with some salt. You can use sea salt, Himalayan salt or any type of salt. So the best way to get this uh, salt and chicken mixed together is to use the shake method, as you can see over here. And uh, this way the chicken is thoroughly mixed up and we will just put it aside while we get busy preparing the rest of the stuff. And this would be your onions and whole spices. So for the amount of chicken you have seen, I'm just using three um, medium sized onions over here. All I'm going to be doing is just coarsely um, chopping all the onion and put it aside and we will get involved with the next step. So here you can see I'm using around five or six cardamom pods and the reason I'm actually smashing them because it actually allows them to break open, the seeds get exposed and that releases flavor and few bay leaf, one cinnamon stick and uh, some clove. So these are actually called whole garam masala. So you can make a powder out of it too if you want to make a garam masala powder. And I'm just going to be using the whole uh, garam masala and add it into uh, some butter, which I added and just saute it. And this process allows your um, fat or the oil which you use to become flavored. And this is the time we will add our onion to the mix to um, saute the onion until they are golden brown. So halfway through the process, we'll add some salt. I'm just using around a teaspoon of salt I just added to the process. So this would uh, dehydrate the onion uh, more quickly and it will saute and get the onion uh, become brown much sooner. To this, I'm now adding a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin powder, and a teaspoon of coriander powder. And that's the basic spices you need for uh, poultry or lamb or any type of uh, meat you prepare. For this dish, I'm only going to be using this. Now that the onions are thoroughly mixed, this is the time to add some yogurt. I'll be using around three tablespoons of yogurt. And through this, um, I will develop this paste, which we need uh, for the chicken to be thoroughly cooked. Normally, in uh, when people are actually making biryani, what they would do, they would actually marinate their chicken overnight using this same or similar type of uh, spice mixture. And um, this long marination process is not necessary for this uh, recipe. So you are actually just doing and developing the same type of taste while you are cooking in instant pot. Because the pressure cooker, when we actually pressure cook this chicken for a short period of time, um, within that period of time, the chicken will uh, develop this uh, flavor because it's getting pressurized and all of those things goes inside the chicken. So it gives that flavor. So don't forget to move the chicken also from time to time and as you can see when the chicken has changed its color and uh, some water is there so I will just add a little bit of water and just uh, follow the uh, poultry function in your instant pot and give it for 13 minutes uh, full pressure cook and within 13 minutes um, the chicken would be three quarters way done not fully cooked yeah so it is very important that the chicken is not fully cooked so while it is going and doing its uh, chicken preparation. I'll be just using some uh, saffron 
to make some uh, brew some saffron for uh, uh, flavoring the rice when we add the rice later on. So it's just a pinch of uh, saffron. It's very important that you actually have good quality saffron because the smell and the flavor which you derive from the saffron is going to be ending up in your rice and the color would be there. So good quality saffron is a must for this recipe. And all I used is a pinch of saffron um, to brew it uh, within a cup of uh, hot water. At this instance, all I do is just uh, cover the saffron cup um, for duration of the chicken and just put it aside while I just get ready with the rice. So I will be using around four cups of rice uh, for this recipe, which I'm not showing over here. All I'm doing is uh, just taking four cups of rice and washing and draining it ready. As soon as the instant pot says that the timing is up for the chicken, we just need to uh, depressurize it instantly. So um, uh, you don't need to slowly release the steam, just release the steam straight away because we don't want to further cook the chicken uh, through the natural uh, release process. And as you can see, the chickens are ready. This what I would say that the chickens are halfway or three quarter way ready. So um, this is the consistency you want to get. And now I'm going to add the last two remaining spices. This is basically a teaspoon of garam masala powder and then a teaspoon of dried fenugreek. Just give it a quick mix so this way the spices are not just laying on the top of the uh, gravy just um, so that they actually have the opportunity to mix thoroughly throughout the um, chicken mixture. And now I'm just adding around four cups of washed and drained rice to the mixture and just uh, evenly spread it out Now we'll add some liquid to the mixture and this is basically that uh, saffron water which has been brewing all this time on the side. In the same cup I'll be just uh, adding some water, uh, half a cup of water and to that I'll add some half a cup of rose water. So that is going to be our second cup of uh, liquid get mixed into the mixture and off camera I also added another cup of um, water. So uh, making sure that everything is fully submerged. So for a three, um, for four cups of rice, I'm actually using around three cups of water and making sure the chicken it all itself has got enough gravy. So it's all together amount of liquid is around four cups of liquid in the mixture. And then uh, just uh, seal up uh, the vent and just use the automatic uh, rice cooking function feature of your instant pot because that would make sure that the water and the rice and the chicken gets finally cooked to um, its perfection. So these are the automatic features which I actually use uh, from instant pot. In the meantime this is purely optional you don't have to do that if you don't wish to uh, but I like to garnish the uh, final um, biryani in this case with some uh, resins so all I'm going to do is take around a handful of uh, dried resins and saute uh, and leave it aside until the rice and the chicken are done. For this stage I'm just using around a handful of dried uh, resins which I previously washed and uh, drained and now I'm going to saute it till they start to uh, caramelize. You can actually see the process, you know, they, they will start to change color and you know where I have to stop and that's the process you need to uh, uh, do and just stop it at that point otherwise what's going to happen and they will just start to get uh, sticky to the bottom. You don't, you don't want to go to that level. So our rice is now done and as soon as the um, um, indication is shown that it is done, you just de-steam it. So depressurize it so that um, you know it doesn't get, get further cooked because otherwise your rice is going to be completely uh, smash rice. You don't want that. <laughs> so once the rice is done, uh, you take it off and immediately you will be hit with an amazing flavor and aroma of this chicken and rice 
nicely prepared fluffy rice. Uh, this is amazing. You, you have to give it a try and um, see for yourself basically. Now my next stage is I need to take the rice and chicken out from the instant pot into a separate pot so that I can do the rest of the uh, steps but you don't want to use a spoon and a spatula that would just break the rice and the chicken so that's the reason I use this pot and I do a little bit of uh, pot gymnastic to transfer the rice and the chicken from the instant pot to this uh, final pot the way I'm showing you right now. And be extra careful at this step that because that instant pot um, container is very hot so make sure you protect yourself and don't burn yourself at this stage this is where we'll be using our uh, sorted dried uh, resins um, and just uh, sprinkle it generously all over uh, the cooked uh, biryani and just uh, spread it out evenly i'll also um, bring out the remainder of the uh, rice and chicken which is in the instant pot and this is where I'm actually adding the last remaining bit of the uh, rice and chicken which we prepared and this is uh, really nice and the smell is amazing and the flavor which you get from this process of cooking is really amazing you have to try that and once I discovered that you can make this type of fluffy and um, nicely cooked chicken all in one pot i'm not going back and this is something we have it quite frequently now um, most of the week in our home so um, you should also try it and uh, let me know also you know if you have tried it uh, how was this for you and did you really get the same type of results or not here i'm just uh, garnishing it with some chopped uh, coriander fresh freshly chopped coriander leaf and uh, this is it this is basically your easiest and uh, quickest way you can prepare some mouth-watering flavorful um, delicious instant pot chicken biryani so i hope you really like this recipe and also if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe share this recipe with your friends and family and also like the video and if you have any questions or anything about this recipe feel free to put your comment in the comment section we always respond back to all your comments so uh, please do so and till the next time we wish you all the best and good health and happy cooking <laughs>